Hey, good morning, y'all. How are you? Happy Friday. Actually, it's Good Friday, and um, this has just been such an interesting week for me as I have shared this journey that I've been on, this intensely personal journey that I've been on toward replacing negative words in my life with God-honoring words. And I hope you've joined me uh, for the Monday posts. On Monday, I talked about just how God convicted me of the words that I was speaking. And then on Wednesday, I talked a little bit about the accountability process that I went through in order to help um, replace these negative words in my life. And so it's just been quite a journey for me and, and I'm honored that you've been on it with me. I'm, If I have to be honest with you, I'm a little bit embarrassed to have to admit that uh, that I had such horrible sin in my life, but I praise the Lord that he did not leave me in that sin, that he convicted me and that he's helped me out of it. And so um, I, I appreciate you going on this journey with me. Um, on Monday, I told you about the scriptures that I memorized as I went on this journey that the Lord gave me to memorize on this journey. And they were James chapter three, verses eight, nine, and 10, and then James chapter five, and it was verse nine. So I wanna just remind you of those scriptures. Let me read them to you, and then I'll tell you about a little gift I have for you. James chapter three, verses eight through 10. No human being can tame the tongue. It is a restless evil full of deadly poison. Now, let me just stop and tell you that verse hit me like a tub of cold water poured over my spirit when I, when the Lord brought it to my memory and I, I just realized that it was talking about my tongue, Leah's tongue. And I was just horribly convicted and that's the point at which God really helped me begin this journey. Okay, so James 3 and then verse 9. With it, we bless our Lord and Father and with it, we curse people who are made in the likeness of God. James 3.10, for from the mouth come both blessing and cursing. My brothers, these things ought not to be. James is really, as my mother would have said, giving us down the road for the things that come out of our mouth that are not blessings. Then James chapter five and verse nine, do not grumble against one another, brothers, so that you may not be judged. Now, I don't know about you, but I tend to grumble about all sorts of things, but especially about people. And so that too was a very, very convicting verse. And so I have a little gift for you. I have taken these verses and I've turned them into what I believe are very beautiful scripture cards. I'm calling them grace full. F-U-L-L, -L, scripture cards. And they are available on my website on today's post, April 14th, uh, Friday, April 14th. They are available there as a free download for you. And I hope that you will go and take a look at them and download them and use them if you need to make a change in your words. If you need to replace negative words with positive words, I hope these scripture cards will be a huge blessing to you. Now, you know, it is not lost on me the appropriateness of the fact that I am sharing this information, my journey with you this Holy Week, this week leading up to Easter, because I'll just go ahead and share with you that this journey has taken me back to the cross. Really and truly, this journey is why Jesus came to this earth. He came because we were sinful and we were separated from God. And that's exactly what my negative words were doing. They were separating me from God. And so Jesus came to provide a way for me to return to relationship with God. And on Good Friday, thousands of years ago, Jesus died on that cross and, and took my sin upon him, took my negative, ugly words upon himself, and gave me in exchange his right standing before God. 
And so Holy Week is such an appropriate time for me to share this information with you. And I just want to challenge you, if you have got some sort of something, some sort of sin in your life that you need to change, you know you need to change it, what better time than Easter to begin? What better time to begin to incorporate prayer, scripture, and accountability in your life to begin changing those, those habits, those um, sins that separate you from God and replacing them with, with a right relationship with Jesus. And so I encourage you to do that. Now I wanna end up by sharing with you the results of a survey that I asked my readers to fill out, my blog readers and my Facebook readers. A couple of weeks ago, I asked them to fill out this very short 10 question survey on character issues. Very, very interesting results. The question, one of the questions that I asked, the first question that I asked was this, is there a character issue with which you struggle or have struggled in the past? So currently struggling or have struggled in the past. Now I'll go ahead and share with you that about 40 people answered the survey. They were all female and they all professed to be followers of Jesus Christ. Okay, so with that groundwork laid, let me share with you the top answers for that question. What character issues do you struggle with or have you struggled with? The number one answer, and out of about 40 people, 12 people said they struggle with anger. The number two answer, six people said that they struggle with lying, telling lies. And then from there, the answers were kind of spread across a spectrum of, of occurrences. Um, three people, three different people said they struggle with overeating, drinking, and judging others. I've been there. God has worked on my heart over the years about judging others, so I can identify with that one. And then others that were mentioned were self-esteem, selfishness, um, unforgiveness, addiction, manipulation, blaming others, worry, complaining, um, exaggeration, deceit. Um, this was an interesting one because I have dealt with this and currently I am working on this very hard and that's interrupting others. Uh, biggie, biggie. There was somebody that said they struggled with an eating disorder, with fear, being critical, prideful. Y'all, this actually broke my heart, but I could identify with so many of these. And you know what that tells me is that the body of Christ is struggling or has struggled and, and we are not fully walking in the grace and the forgiveness and the help that Jesus Christ has died on the cross to give us. And so I hope that if you are struggling, that you will perhaps be encouraged by my journey this week and that you will begin your own journey toward, toward walking to a, um, a greater freedom in Christ and walking away from those character issues that, that burden us down. And so, y'all, I hope you have a marvelous Resurrection Day. Thank you so much for being part of the community here at leahadams.org. And y'all are just the best. See ya.